Fast forward to 2025 and we've now got four generations of M-powered iPad Pros and we've got three generations of iPad Airs powered by the M-series chip. So the real question is, do we need this much power in these iPads? Have Apple lost sight of where the iPad is going? Who is it for? So let's look at the Android world for a moment. At the moment, we have, you know, got Windows laptops and then you've got Android tablets that sort of run alongside them. And then you've got the Microsoft Surface and you've got two-in-one PCs like the Samsung Galaxy 5 Pro 360 I reviewed recently, which flips over and becomes a giant tablet. The disadvantage of those for me is that they're not true tablets because you have to start them up into Windows software and then you have to use the pen to flip them over and they are essentially a computer with a flipped over screen, not a tablet. A tablet is a device you can just pick up and use to watch media on it, to, to put write on it and it's instantly starting up, it's always there, just as runs the software in the background all the time, it's always on, always available to use. So I think there is generally a distinction here. I think there is a market for the tablets and for MacBooks and for laptops and for 